we all had 7 billion people in the world to choose from, and we chose our spouses. So the question for all of them when they're complaining is, why did you choose your spouse? Yeah. It's Channel Mom with Ginny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. I happen to think we live in a very selfish world. Yeah. Um, I, we've had friends get divorced, and I can't tell you how many cheerleaders they've had that have said, you go, girl. He's not treating you well. You just go. You go out and have some fun. You deserve it. He treats you like a slave or whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and so they get supported in their desire to leave. And, and folks who do have a good marriage, sometimes people talk behind their back. Oh, they're so syrupy. They're so whatever. Yeah. Um, and so it's not cool to have a good marriage. It's not supported. I had a friend yeah. of mine tell me every Friday night we get together so we can rag on our husbands with yeah. each other. Yeah. So now what that, what can we change about our culture, A, and yeah. how can you give encouragement to some people out there who say, I wish I was a happy wife? Absolutely. Well, I'll take group number one okay. first because that will actually help group number two. Yeah. So if you sit, and, and I use this number all the time, it's not scientific, it's just based on my experience. If you sit seven women around a table that are all drinking coffee who are all married, Six of them are going to bash their husbands. Yeah. There is going to be one who is silent. That is the happy wife. Yeah. And with, with women, because we don't want people snickering behind our backs, because we do want to feel like we're a part of the group or, or just to feel included, what we end up doing is we allowing that to be the only voice out there representing marriage and representing wives. And it's that one voice that can change that conversation. If you are on this, on listening to this and you are that happy wife that sits silent while everyone else is complaining, I challenge you to change the conversation. We all had 7 billion people in the world to choose from, and we chose our spouses. So the question for all of them when they're complaining is, why did you choose your spouse? Yeah. Because if you can bring them back to that place, the conversation changes. When you remind them that it was their choice and they chose that person over all of the other people who were courting them, yeah. there was a reason. And when you bring wives back to that place, it's amazing how quickly that conversation shifts. Yeah, I hope there's some women today in the car or at the computer answering that question for themselves because I'm fond of saying to some of my friends who are having troubles hey you did sign up for this guy you did yeah. sign up for him so it's not all on him you did sign up for him for a reason and you're right go back to that what is one of the biggest consistencies that you found in happy marriages mutual respect hands down we hear a lot, men need respect, men need respect. This is what I learned in sitting with couples married 25 years or more, and, and this is all I have done. This is all I have studied. I haven't studied the downside of marriage. I've only studied those that have succeeded. And what was consistent in sitting with every single one is those women were respected. They were respected more than anyone else in that man's world. When that man doted over his wife... He did not feel as though he was weak by doing that. He knew who he was. He absolutely loved and adored and respected his wife. Mm -hmm. And the women did not feel as though they had to challenge their husband. Oh. They could dote over them and show them love and show them respect and tell everyone else who would tell them that, you know, they're, they're sending women back to pre-feminist movement days, tell them to go take that to their own marriage.